So my days as a chemistry student are coming to an end. I've been in college for five and a half years. It's really time for it to come to an end. But over the past five and a half years, I have had so many bizarre experiences, both at work, in personal life, and at school, um, that I think are, are pretty pretty universally felt by all chemistry majors. Just it's an experience that you'll get if you're a chemistry major. Uh, just a couple of things that I've noticed. Anytime that somebody asks me what my major is, either when I'm at, again, either if I'm at school or if I'm just out in the world and somebody asks me what my major is and I tell them I'm a chemistry major, they'll just look at me and give me this expression that is reminiscent of, I'm sorry for your loss. It's incredible how often I get that expression or that response, like, ugh, I go, why? Or <laughs> this sympathetic look on their face. And it just, it makes me laugh every time because I'm like, ah, you know, I chose this, right? I, I do like chemistry and that's why I'm a chemistry major. No one forced me into this. It is something that I'm actually interested in and am good at. But anyway, um, just a funny story that came to mind earlier today and I, I wanted to share it with people. I used to work at Sears. I worked there for about a year. Um, and Sears, you get an interesting mix of people working at Sears. It, it, that's probably true for any minimum wage retail job, but uh, this Sears in particular, I got a, a very wide range of um, coworkers, but um, it took about three or four months before I started making friends there. I, I'm really just a, a, a silent worker. I just, I, I like to go and do my job, get out, go home, watch Netflix, do whatever. Anyway, um, after a couple of months, people started asking me, they're like, hey, do you want to hang out? Do you want to go places? And like, I, I don't really like going out or anything. So I'd be like, no, no, no I'm okay. But <laughs> I'd start um, talking with people in the break room and everything. And after a while, people started to know me as the chemistry major. Like that was just the thing that I was recognizable by. I was the chemistry major who worked at Sears. <laughs> anyway, I had one manager come up to me once. There are several managers in Sears. I think in this particular one, there were something like 10 or 11. Uh, this one was the manager of the lawn and garden department. And he came up to me and he asked me, he's like, hey, hey, um, have you ever seen Breaking Bad? Which, by the way, is something that you are asked always as a chemistry major. You say you're a chemistry major, the next thing that comes out of someone's mouth is, hey, have you seen Breaking Bad? Anyway, but, um, yeah, he came up to me and said the same thing. Hey, have you seen Breaking Bad? I'm like, yes, yes, I've seen Breaking Bad. <laughs> I'm like, because I knew where this was going. He's like, so, what do you think about that meth cooking thing? I'm like, it's a nice story. Breaking Bad's a nice story. <laughs> He's like, well, have you ever thought about doing that? I'm like, no, no, I, I've never thought about cooking meth. Like, there's more that you do with chemistry than cook meth. In fact, that's a very, very limited uh, realm in chemistry, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> but uh, he asked me if I knew how to cook meth. I do know how to cook meth. I, I won't. I absolutely won't. I never will. There's a difference between knowing how to do something and actually being willing to do it. I'm not willing to cook meth. I like my freedom. Uh, but yes, I know how. And he asked me, he's like, why are you not cooking meth? Why are you working here? Like, what just flat out asked me, like, what are you doing here? Why are you not out cooking meth instead? I'm like, oh my god, like, you don't understand how this works. Uh, but anyway, from then on, my days at Sears, I was known as that girl that knows how to cook meth. Anyway, just the life of a chemistry major. Thought I'd share. <laughs> Hope it gives someone a laugh.